almost ready. <laughs> All your own products for your own meal. Look how big these are. Yeah. <laughs> the results are in. Oh my god. Absolutely delicious arugula lettuce tomato salad. No, I lied. Arugula. There's actually no lettuce in here. It's arugula, onion, grass, and tomatoes. Okay. 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 Morning! This is the best view! So as much as we tried to pre-plan this video, uh, turns out nature was on a different schedule. Everything we planted seemed to be ready for harvest at different times. So I'm just gonna go through and show you guys all our veggies that we have planted across our front garden in our home here in Summerland. My personal favorite, of course, the romaine lettuce that took a journey with us all the way to Better Better Beach. If you watch the other video, you'll see when we got to harvest that lovely, delicious salad. But everything else is grown right here on our front yard, and the seeds are all used from other vegetables. The romaine lettuce, on the other hand, I did bring a package of green leaf seeds so that I can plant here because I knew that there was a huge lack of green leaf seeds. The most you'll find in Somaliland is this long leaf called costa, which is more commonly known in the West world as Swiss shards. Not quite spinach or romaine lettuce, but we'll take what we can get. And probably the first issue we should address is to let you guys know that we did not get as much rain as we wanted to upkeep our garden. So a lot of our results kind of look like this. And a lot of these clips and footage of the beautiful lush green is probably from a month ago when we had water to spare on Garden Life. I'll show you guys some real life situations though. As you can see, after all of our water videos about waiting for rain, this is the results. There's even cobwebs growing on them because that's how long it's been since they got water. We weren't able to give them as much tender love and care as we hoped because as the season started to change we started to realize that our water priorities needed to change but for now enjoy all the greenery we did save in the little bit of time that we could and the water that we had this new tomato come come from how can i have a ghost and a birthday my garden this is the vegetable edition so really in a wood for on the land of poor. What are cornal? Cornal. Cornal weather. Cornal. Okay. I'll cast it while the salgan of the soturi. 
Mm. Corn popcorn. Oh, it's just cilantro crew. Took me a long time to actually know what kamsara was in English, and it turns out it was just cilantro. So, yep. Yeah. Item number five. Oh, let me put the shell. Is it a mahin? Mm hmm. What was it? I don't know. Yeah, let's eat it. Let's eat it today. Wow! Wow, Sammy, wow. Yes, wow, wow. Covered it. We recovered grass. It was not that big one day ago. But she didn't like a lot of water. I have to say, it's not hot. Hmm. Here, boy. Mm hmm. Shall we move into the lake? Ah, the dubbing one. Hey. What do you need, Balkan? The one I said. Ah, the dubbing. Comment below. I hope that gave you enough inspiration to start your own home garden. In a land that's notoriously famous for being so dry, it just shows you that a little bit of tender love and care towards mother nature can give you beautiful outcomes to sustain you in a lifestyle of zero dollar living here on the motherland. <laughs> these videos just let us know comment below hgtv s land if you're interested in more garden life we got a lot a lot to show you and if you remember our other video about our banana and coffee tree our coffee's a bit running low on the harvest because we are low on the water but as you can see soon we'll be making maybe one cup of coffee with our couple of beans I'll have this video ready for you guys as soon as they get red.